All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Interlock mod, which is being made by form user Whale2. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a lovely little part to help you lock down any potentially wobbly bits inside of your spaceships. And I very much love this mod, as it's useful for everything from making sure sure a potentially slightly loose rover doesn't slide around inside of your vessel, to perhaps just adding more structural support to a space station or planetary base. It is useful for all those things. So let's jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get. Now let's pop on a Mark 1 lander can for size comparison and just head down to the coupling category as there are just two parts for this mod. And we have here the lock light and the lock pro. Now the main difference between the two of these things is of course the aesthetics of the two, the lock light looking like it should be attached to something and the lock pro looking more flush-ish kind of to a spacecraft and now the other main difference is of course the mass the lock light is weighing in at 0 0.04 tons and the pro at 0 0.06 now uh, besides that though they function exactly the same you slam them together and they will lock into place functioning very similarly, honestly, to any of the normal docking ports in here, but the big difference is these are a whole lot stronger than a normal docking port, and they can be turned off. You don't have to always have this thing active, so for instance, if during some sort of orbital maneuver you don't need the two parts locked anymore, you can turn them off, and there's no risk of them coming back together once off. And beyond that, we can also enable or disable internal collisions for that particular part that you are locked to, which is very handy in certain situations. So it's basically a docking port that's just ever so slightly better and more used for, of course, the intended purpose of structural integrity, which is a great thing. Now a fun just little uh, side note here on the blurbs here for each of these parts. The lock light, its sort of intended use is for things like robot arms with its lighter weight and lower profile and the pro is intended for a spacecraft and space station use as an external attachment point but either way they can be used together and will function just fine with whatever you want to attach them to which is great so let's go out into the world and have a look at how they do work and let's just head over to the runway where i've got a little interlock ship waiting and we can have a look at how they function. Now, it of course, is pretty simple. Now, like I said, they can be toggled on or off. So right now, say if we uh, used the help of our infernal robotics friend and got these two parts close to one another, unlike a docking port, they're not going to attach together because they're currently off. They just kind of slam into one another and nothing occurs. But if we activate them, either through right-clicking on their the part itself and engaging the lock, or of course adding it to a uh, custom key. I of course have it on one, so there we are, I hit that, and boom, you can see both of them have a yellow light indicating that they are ready to be used. Now, a couple of things to pay attention to as I do get these back closer together now that they are on. One is right up here, you'll get some text saying that they are not aligned properly. This mod really does want these parts to be as closely aligned as possible, but you have some leeway there. For instance, I actually did put this one a bit higher and I believe a bit more to the left than the one over here. So it's not perfectly aligned, but they still will attach together. Now besides that, pay attention to the lights on these, which are again currently yellow. And as we get them closer together, there we go, you see we got the uh, not aligned, they've turned blue, 
And now they're green and we have a latch lock, which is very good to have. Now, the reason it gave the unaligned part is so that you can potentially readjust and it gives that blue period where the light is, of course, well, blue, as that's the time that it's attempting to lock together with. And it's not completely done until it goes green. So you have a bit of a moment to, say, readjust yourself if you're, say, attaching to a space station and docking in that way. You can sort of rotate yourself around and get it just right, which is quite good. But now that it is attached, it is solidly attached. There we go as you can see. And that is a good thing because, well, the part that this is attached to is one of those uncontrolled rototrons from uh, Infernal Robotics. And normally, if I, say, turn off my brakes up here and start just rolling around, this thing would be flung back and forth because it's, well, uncontrolled. But all we need to do is uh, to actually make it go uncontrolled again is deactivate the locks, which is as simple as hitting that command key again, it's turned blue as it's unlatching, and now they're off. And if I start turning, well, there goes that piece wobbling around. And yeah, so it is a wonderful thing to have that control there. We can have it so that it either does or doesn't lock when you need, and you can release it at any time. Now, I'm having some slight power issue. Oh no, I've got plenty of power. All right, there we go. It was slowing down a bit more than I anticipated. But there we are, if we start swinging it back around and they try to lock, notice that they aren't locking now because again, they aren't turned on. But if we reactivate them and, oh God, try and make this thing wobble around. Oh boy, no, I flung it the different way. And they can't align because, well, they're backwards. Oh, that didn't go well. Let's see if I can fling it back the other way now. If not, that may be the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, no, it's still wanting to go that direction. Okay, oh, there we go, there we go. We flung it, and boom. Oh, no, oh, no, no, didn't, didn't have enough time to lock there. Oh, and I flung it back around again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Perfect, they're trying to lock. Trying to, oh God, yeah, see those uncontrolled rototrons, man. They just have a mind of their own. But you guys get the general idea. Once they are actually aligned with one another, well, you can actually try and lock them. Oh my God, I think it might, nope, 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 it bounced. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, these parts are extraordinarily useful when, you know, not connected to a weird contraption as I have created. And you can use them to increase the structural integrity of stations. So say you have two long parallel parts that you're trying to attach, rather than just having the one singular uh, attachment point of a docking port, you can use these and having six or seven of them or however many you need to actually get them to function properly. It is a very handy thing to add in more strength to anything you are trying to produce. Or, of course, like I said, have them attached to a wobbly rover inside of a fairing or just any other thing you're trying to lock down. It's that useful. But yes, that is going to be it for this episode. A lovely, useful little part that if you'd like to check out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we're going to be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.